All right, before we can get into any of the cool ZSH stuff, um, we need to know a little bit about Terminal Basics. That is uh, some basic commands that allow us to move around, create, delete uh, files on our system. So if you are already comfortable with doing things like uh, moving around directories, creating files, changing directories, then feel free to just skip this video and move on to the next one. Um, this is just for people who are uh, pretty new to the terminal and might not know about all the commands. So let's get started. Um, what I've done here is I've just actually opened up my terminal window. Um, it actually might look a little something like this for you. It's just green and black. Um, it might be just white and black. Depends if you're on Windows or Mac or, or, or something like that. So um, the first command uh, we need to type in is called PWD and that stands for present working directory. Uh, because when we open up a bash window here, uh, this is essentially us moving through our file system. And when you open it up, you generally just get this dollar sign or maybe an angle bracket or something. And we call that your prompt. And uh, it expects you to know exactly what you want to type in. So first thing I always want to know is like, where actually am I in this machine? So BWD and it returns forward slash users forward slash West boss. So that means I'm in my users folder and I'm in my forward slash West boss folder. So that's great, but um, I'm actually going to work out of my Dropbox today. So I need to go into my Dropbox folder. So the command that we use for that is CD. It stands for change directory. So let's type CD and go ahead and type in Dropbox. Um, this is case sensitive. Uh, when we move into ZSH, we will look at ways around that. It's really nice, but right now we're just in bash. So we need to uh, use case sensor. So CD, enter. Nothing actually happens. It just gives us another fresh prompt here. Uh, so, but if we type in PWD again, you'll see that I'm in my Dropbox folder. Great. Well, now I actually want to go ahead and make a folder to do our stuff in today. So I'm going to type a new command called make directory. It's M K D I R make dir, and I'm going to call it command line. Command line. Good. Now, if we type PWD again, we're still in Dropbox. So this is something uh, a lot of newbies uh, accidentally do is they, they assume that since they made the directory, they were actually in the directory and we're not. So we do again, CD command line. And then if we type PWD, you can see that we are clearly in uh, the command line. So now um, what we can do is uh, I actually don't like it when I have a lot of uh, my history on the screen. I find it uh, to be pretty distracting. So uh, if you ever want to clear things out, you can just hold down your command key and hit K. Um, on others, I think it's control uh, and hit K and that will just clear it. So think of clear with a K. Uh, it'll clear out everything else that you did previously. Um, so now I want to say, just double check where are we good? We're in the command line. Um, we want to list the files that are in, that are in this directory. So uh, we use the ls and you type dash l after it. Or you can just type ls as well or ls dash l. And when we type that, nothing happens. And that's because this folder is totally empty. So we need a way to actually start making things. So uh, let's go ahead and make another directory. So make dir, let's call it CSS. So CSS. Now if we type ls-l, you'll see that it says a whole bunch of stuff, West Boss staff, December 11, et cetera, et cetera. I'm sorry, December at 11.02. That's the time right now. Uh, and this is the directory name. If we type ls, you actually just get a short form of that. L the dash l means long and it just gives us all the information that is associated with that. Um, so now we actually want to make some files. So uh, let's say we want our index. So we'll say touch. Touch is the ability to create a file. So touch index.html. Again, let's do ls. Look, we've got CSS folder. We've got our index.html. Right now you can't tell, is this a folder? Is this a file? The only way you can really tell is there's a extension on it. With ZSH, we're going to have some color coding there so we know what's a folder and what's a file. Um, let's say I wanted to create my style.css. Um, I need to go into the CSS directory. So we'll do CD CSS. Type PWD again. Make sure we're there. Good. We're in the command line directory, but we're in a child directory called CSS. 
And again, we can just say touch style.css. There we go, type ls, you see style.css. We don't see a CSS directory or index. That's because we're in a child, uh, child directory right now. So if we want to go one level up, how do we do that? We can just use CD and a short form, just dot dot. Uh, and you probably know this from CSS or HTML. And when you want to go a directory up, you just type dot dot. So CD dot dot. And we type PWD again, and we are back in the command line one. Um, <clears throat> some other commands that we have are, uh, we have RM, which is remove. Um, and I could just go ahead and remove the index.html if I wanted. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to need it later. Um, I actually recommend not using RM. We're going to go into something called trash in the future. Um, RM is a final delete. So if you actually accidentally RM a file that you shouldn't have, or some guys accidentally do RM something like a star or a, a tilde or something like that, and it just deletes their entire hard drive. So um, I'm not even comfortable typing RM in right here because it doesn't go into your trash. It just deletes it forever. Um, so we're going to look at a little utility called trash, which will allow you to actually put it in the trash and get it back if you want, or, or your recycling bin if you're on Windows. So that's some terminal basics. Um, play around with that, make sure you're comfortable because we're gonna be moving around quite a bit uh, in these tutorials. Um, and that's it, and I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you check out my book and video series, Sublime Text Power User at sublimetextbook.com. Use coupon code COMMANDLINE for 10 bucks off. As always, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at WESBOSS, W-E-S-B-O-S. -S. Talk to you again soon.